Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Trailhead Explanations. In this video, we are going to cover unit use summary formulas in your reports from the project create reports and dashboards for sales and marketing manager. So here we are going to create a new report from an existing report, which is opportunity by rep. We are going to make certain edits and updates based on the steps that are provided over here. And we are also going to cover the concept of summary formulas, how we can create them and use it in our reports. So let's quickly launch our trailhead playground, which I have already done over here. You have to go to your reports tab and then select the opportunities by rep report if you do not find your report under recent tab option you have to go to all folders and here select global sales report folder and under that you will find opportunity by rep so simply uh, scroll, uh, go to far right and click on this uh, drop down icon and select edit option from here this will open up the uh, report builder screen for us and where we have to make certain edits based on the challenge steps that are there. So uh, here we have to go and in the filters, we have to make one change, which is opportunity status to close. We have to edit this or update this, go to filters, click on opportunity status and select closed. Click on apply. So this will update our report with the opportunity status uh, closed. Now in the outline pan, we have to go and add a summary formula. So let's quickly go there. And once you go to outline pan over here, you will find that there is one drop down icon present against column. So click on that and you will find add summary formula option. Clicking on this, it will open up a pop up for us where we have to provide all the details over the mentioned over here in the challenge. So the column name will be win rate. I will copy this and paste it in the column name text area. For the description, again, I will take it from the challenge itself ratio of one to closed opportunities. And then next, what we have to do is we have to make formula output type percentage. So instead of number, it has to be percentage. Decimal points will remain as it is, which is two. Now, next we have to add the formula. The formula will be in the form one uh, sum slash or divided by or the fraction sign we can say closed sum. So let's quickly add that. So go to uh, the filters tab over here on your left. And in the search field search bar, you have to type one, select this and uh, make sure that here, this drop down has sum selected. And once uh, you ensure that sum is selected, click on insert, this will get added over here. Once that is done, you have to add this slash or the fraction sign that we have. Clicking on this, it will get added. Now next we have to type here closed. So click on this. Uh, again, make sure that sum has been selected and click on insert. So our final formula will look something like this. So once you have uh, added this formula into this uh, space, you have to click on validate in order to check whether we have, uh, we do not have any syntax error, which, uh, which we can see uh, we do not have. Click on apply. This will create one column for us by the name win rate. If you will scroll towards your right, you will find win rate has been added. And based on the formula that we had, it has calculated some uh, percentage, which is 100%. So how it was calculated, if you will notice over here, we have divided one, uh, uh, one sum with closed sum. So if we will see here, uh, if I'll just open up the field one and closed. So if I search here one, and this is not part of challenge just for the uh, sake of explanation, I am adding this closed. So if you will see that uh, scroll to your right where you will find both these columns which I added. So these are the two columns which I add and these are the same columns that is being used in our summary formula uh, field, uh, the formula that we have written. So if you'll notice that all these fields have the value, uh, all are, all have this checkbox as checked. So the value of all of them are true. That means all the records that are present over here are one and are also closed. So that gives out based on the formula that we have taken up, that gives out the result as 100%.
So uh, that's what uh, the summary formula or the summary uh, column does that whatever column, uh, whatever formula that we add up there, based on that, our report gets updated. So we do not require these two columns. So I will quickly remove it. Otherwise, they are going to give us an error at the time of checking the challenge. So make sure you remove them. This is just for the sake of explanations. Now, next is uh, we have added this uh, formula. And now the only step that we are left with is uh, saving our report. So copy this name from the challenge and going back here, you will find a drop down just next to save button. Click on this drop down, click on save as and paste the name that we had copied from the challenge. Unique name will be auto populated. And for the uh, description, I will take it from the challenge, which is how well are my sales reps closing. So I will paste this in the description text area and the folder uh, which we have to use is global sales reports itself, uh, which is already there selected. Now click on a save button and this will create the report for us by the name sales rep win rates. Once this is saved, click on run button. And that's all we had to do for this challenge. Just go back here and scroll down to check our challenge, whether we have made all the necessary changes that are required for this challenge to complete. Let's just wait for it to give out the results. There you go, this unit has been completed. See you in the next video with another unit. Till then, take care.